What different levels of paramedic training programs are offered at the Justice Institute of British Columbia? The JIBC offers three levels of paramedic training. The Emergency Medical Responder, or the EMR program, the Primary Care Paramedic Program, or PCP, and the Advanced Care Paramedic Program, or ACP. In the Advanced Care Paramedic, or ACP program, you learn a very specialized skill set and are better equipped to deal with cardiac, respiratory, and major trauma patients. ACP level paramedics perform advanced skills and usually work in major city centers around the province. They also work as well-paid emergency care providers in the industry environment. Could you please tell me more about each program to help me decide which one's best for me? The Advanced Care Paramedic Program at JIBC is the most advanced paramedic training program offered at any post-secondary school in BC. The program is about 20 months long and uses a hands-on learning model involving case studies, skills practice and simulation, individual and group projects, and practice education placements on ambulance and in the hospital. The program is only offered in a full-time format with a blend of online learning and in-class activity and is organized into three terms where students are in class an average of three days a week during the classroom component. You should only consider applying to the ACP program if you have completed the PCP program and are an experienced primary care paramedic. How much does each program cost and how do I pay for it? The program costs vary based on the length of the program and the level of the training. The current costs of each program is available on the JIBC website. As with all post-secondary institutions, tuition will increase by a small percentage every year. Both of the full-time primary care paramedic and advanced care paramedic programs are eligible for student loans through Student Aid BC. And this can be a huge help for students who are thinking about starting a new program, changing careers, or upgrading their education. When budgeting, it is important to consider your living expenses during the time you're in school and on practice education. This might include saving money for housing, transportation, food, childcare, entertainment, textbooks, course supplies, and the cost of travel to and from school and your practice education shifts. Students in the PCP and ACP programs are required to wear a paramedic uniform at all times while in class and on their practice education. You will likely need more than one uniform unless you like doing laundry every night after school. Because it can be a challenge to work and study in a full-time program, you should plan your finances out before starting school and know where money might come from for any unexpected expenses. A contingency plan is always a good idea. I recommend you check out the scholarships offered through the Justice Institute to help you with your expenses. The application deadlines for scholarships vary and can be found on the JIBC website. You may also want to apply for the EMA Education Fund Awards if you are enrolling in either the PCP or ACP programs. Contact JIBC Student Services if you need any more information about this. How much time will I spend on schoolwork each week, and can I work and take courses at the same time? The full-time models for all of the paramedic programs are very demanding, and it would be very challenging to work while taking the EMR, PCP, or ACP programs, and we don't generally recommend it. Although students in the ACP program are only in class an average of three days a week during the classroom component, the rest of the week is devoted to online learning requirements, assignments, group projects, and other activities. It is a very intensive program and we recommend that students prioritize school over work commitments, hence the need for good financial planning and preparation before you start school. Who is eligible to apply for the paramedic programs at the Justice Institute of BC? The Advanced Care Paramedic or ACP program has quite a few entrance requirements and is best to look on the program website to see what is required at the time you are applying to the program. You should have your PCP license and experience working as a paramedic at the PCP level. There are prerequisite courses for the ACP program that can be taken at JIBC. What do I need to do to apply for each program? The Advanced Care Paramedic, or ACP program, is highly specialized and only has one intake per year, and offerings are limited to only a few JIBC campuses around the province. 
Applications for the ACP program happen about one year in advance of the start of the program, so it is important that those interested check the website and start making plans well in advance. First you submit your GIBC application and fee, then you will submit your program specific requirements and supporting documents. It's important that all students that apply for the ACP program are ready for the challenging educational environment. The selection process uses an online exam to test applicants on medical knowledge at the PCP level and also includes a panel interview with program faculty and staff. It is a bit of a process. We want to do our best to ensure that everyone in the program is ready to perform at the ACP level. The PCP and ACP selection process is fairly competitive and often sections fill up. There are often more applicants for the courses that run in the new Westminster campus. When applying, you should ensure that you provide all the required documentation with your application. If you have any questions, please ask one of our program staff members as early on in the application process as possible. If your application is not accepted, we will let you know and you may apply to another intake at a later date or a different JIBC campus. When do I need my practice education requirements done by? And when can I start? Some practice education prerequisites have been made program admission requirements. It is important that when you prepare your application for your program that you follow instructions carefully and submit a complete application. Incomplete submissions can result in processing delays or you needing to reapply for the program. Some practice education requirements are time sensitive. For example, all students must be skin tested for tuberculosis or TB within six months of their first practice education placement. Depending on your program and program format, you will be prompted by JABC when it is the right time to do this. Your practice education start dates depend on your program, your program format, your individual schedule and whether or not you are practice education ready. Can I transfer credits from another school or institution? Because of the specialized nature of the training offered at the Justice Institute of BC, the ACP and PCP programs currently do not have a credit transfer or prior learning assessment process. If you have completed paramedic training in other countries or provinces, please connect with the program staff to discuss your options and career goals. What are my career opportunities with advanced care paramedic certification? Advanced care paramedics have all of the skills and training of PCP level paramedics, plus they have advanced skills as clinicians, collaborators, leaders, learners, and community-based emergency health providers. They also have more advanced training in emergency management. ACP level paramedics work on advanced life support ambulances, at major ski mountains that utilize ACPs in ski patrol, and as well-paid industrial paramedics. Thanks, where can I find more information? The best place to find more information about the topics discussed in this video are on the JIBC website for the paramedic programs and the JIBC Student Services website.